It's great to be here again. Appreciate you, and I appreciate everyone in the audience for their asking and their presence today. So, what I'd really like some help with is some clarity around fine tuning to the solution and going from that place of being in that meditative space, quieting the mind, and then allowing that momentum to build oh, towards what I want. That's such a good question. Do you hear what he's asking? Because what we've been explaining, and he is already understanding, is that if he is able to meditate and really quiet his mind so the resistance subsides, now, law of attraction is going to respond to the vibration that he's got going, which means law of attraction is going to respond to this rather quiet right now, not a lot of momentum going because after all, he just quieted his mind. But the fact that there's no resistance means that now that law of attraction is responding to the vibration, that it can pick up momentum rapidly because it's only resistance that slows it down. So are you asking how you can guide it more? Are you not willing to just let the pure vibration that understands everything that you are and everything that you want just lead you to the clarity? You feel like you need to goose it up? You only need to goose it up when you're working against it and then it doesn't work that well, does it? So, I hear what you're saying and I've heard you talk about that before, how the momentum will naturally build. It will naturally build if you don't kill it with thoughts that contradict it. Well, I think I'm killing it. Well, <laughs> so here's what we would recommend for a little while. Meditate when thoughts start occurring. If they feel good, then let them flow and follow them. Like Esther jumping right up and getting online and figuring out how she can move furniture because the thought felt good. She wasn't evaluating. Is it important? Is it necessary? Will it change the world? Is it something I should do? In other words, it was just a really good feeling thought that was so compelling that she just felt inspired because there was no resistance to follow it through. And it led in a very short time to something really wonderful. And so it's a matter of trusting that the pure, and by pure we mean non-resistant thought, will gain momentum. But you might still be in that place of still trying to quiet your mind where the chatter keeps coming in. So don't be too worried about whether thoughts are flowing because it's logical. You see, this is the thing. I want to tell you this when Esther and Jerry began meditating back in 1985 they had been guided to sit in a quiet room wear comfortable clothing focus upon their breathing and when your mind wanders and it will just release the thought so Esther did that and right away felt that detached state so they meditated every day for nine months and when thoughts started flowing from us to Esther she would breathe more and try to quiet her mind because she didn't know that she was in the receiving mode because it's difficult to know whether you're thinking the thought or whether you're receiving the thought and so if in that meditative state you're receiving the thought then let it flow and it will gather momentum it will and it's momentum that will serve you go ahead I'm hearing you it's just a little trepidation so meditate come out in the world and see how it goes meditate come out in the world and see how it goes meditate on Monday come out in the world and see how Monday went meditate Tuesday come out in the world and see how Tuesday went meditate Wednesday come out in the world and see how Wednesday went meditate Thursday come out in the world and see how Thursday went and what you begin to notice is Thursday is way better than Monday because the edge is gone you're feeling better you're more intuitive you're more in tune you have better timing you just feel better your body feels better you're in the right place at the right time more and don't beat up on yourself if there are thoughts that you can't let go of the next day do it again and the next day do it again and the next day do it again until before you know it it will be very easy for you to just quiet your mind and receive the fullness of who you are the thing is, is I've been meditating for quite a while now and I really enjoy it. And I have noticed and I experience a lot of what you're sharing right here. There are also just some things in my life where I feel like they're stuck in that holding pattern like you talked about when we first started. The, the there are, today. but here's the thing. This is what we really want you to hear. 
those things that feel like or are stuck in a holding pattern you have asked for solutions of every one of them many times and those solutions are in your vibrational reality ready for you to receive them and if you will meditate every day sooner or later you will receive them but if instead of receiving them you're over here trying to deal with them trying to prod them trying to poke at them or even in some cases trying to apply a brilliant process that Abraham gave you before to do something about them sometimes you just keep them active where they are you see you develop resistance even around new patterns sometimes have you had the experience where you pick up an idea of a process from us or from someone else and for a while it works but then it stops working because you make an end run around it and you find a way to think thoughts against it again and that's all right because your life is going to give you some really really good questions and then the vortex is going to answer them and that's where satisfaction comes from your life is going to give you some really good problems <laughs> yes and then your vortex is going to yield to you the solutions to those problems which is so satisfying and this is what expansion is you see and so don't beat up on yourself just because you're still having some step one moments think about it you're out here in the manifested world where resistance just is there's resistance out here in this manifested world you're gonna see stuff you don't want to see and hear stuff you don't want to hear and live things you don't want to live and that's how you're going to refine for yourself what the improvement is so all of that has created a reality that you now have greater and greater access to so the last thing you want to do is twirl around in the holding patterns and then beat up on yourself for twirling around in the holding patterns when you have a viable way out of the holding patterns what's the most productive way to no longer live something that you don't want stop thinking about it oh yeah Abraham easy for you to say I'm right in the middle of it my body is feeling the pain of it or I'm living the repercussions of it how can I stop thinking about something that's surrounding me most of the time you can't but you can for 15 minutes or you might for one of the 15 minutes this is the thing that we really want to convey just a little bit of a quieted mind and say 15 or 20 minutes you only get quiet for a minute in that minute with no resistance you'll get some traction of momentum and next time you meditate you'll be in a stronger place than you were before stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger until it won't be very long before you won't even be able to remember what the specifics of that problem was because they'll be so far behind you in terms of showing themselves to you on a daily basis meditation is powerful because your inner being is powerful so you've got to find a way to access the power of your inner being and you cannot access the power of your inner being without tuning to the subtleties of the vibration of that we want to explain to you and then we'll take segment of refreshment that the reason that there is so much leverage in tuning to the vibrational frequency of your vortex is because this non-physical energy which is what is wanted has had law of attraction responding to it for such a long time that there really is not even any competition about well-being and absence of it the well-being is so dominant it is so predominant but each one of you has to retune yourself to the frequency of it because through life and through misunderstanding and through listening to your mother instead of to your inner being and so forth you have gradually without meaning to tuned yourself out of sync with that vibration so it takes a little bit of deliberately tuning yourself back but once you do ah, think about the difference between a feeling of clarity and a feeling of confusion just feel for a moment the difference between the way vitality feels and lethargy think about how enthusiasm feels and boredom in other words you want to tune to this vibrational frequency of who you really are and as you 
deliberately do it more and more and more and more often then when you're standing in the middle of manifestation you see what we're getting at thoughts turning to things all the way out to manifestation and here's real life experience out here where all of the others are isn't it a perfect scenario where it manifests do you get it that you are out here on the leading edge where all that is non-physical and you are all pointed into this time and space for the purpose of taking these thoughts into manifestations huh and can you imagine the deliciousness of this love and this clarity and this pureness that's in your vibration of coming forth into manifestation don't you really really like the idea of that and can you feel the difference in finding a feeling of love and letting it evolve into something that is a manifestation rather than taking hate and trying to get rid of it can you feel the difference in finding clarity and let it move into physical manifestation rather than trying to get rid of confusion out here because in this universe that is only about inclusion you cannot get rid of confusion and when you try the confusion will garner momentum you cannot get rid of hatred there's a war against drugs and a war against AIDS and a war against cancer and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against terrorism and every one of those things is getting bigger because when you wage war in this manifested world law of attraction just gives you more of what you're giving your attention to you got to stop doing that find vibrational harmony with the peace that the war made you want or the love that the hatred made you desire or the wellness that the sickness made you ask for and when you quiet your mind then you're right there in the beginning stages of the peace and the wellness and the love and so forth you're in the very subtle beginning stages and that will gather momentum and it will gather momentum fast and it's the only way you're going to get to where you want to be you got that didn't you